Okay, uh, we're here with uh, Coach Pete Gonzalez of, of Montebello High School. Um, I'll just talk about uh, your expectations for this year um, as, as, as you get into fall camp here. Well, we, we've worked hard this year, and again, we want to make sure we're taking steps forward in our program. So the biggest thing, we worked hard in the weight room, worked hard in the offseason, been really committed to what we're doing, making our players very, very responsible for all and be very accountable for everything they're doing. So again, our expectations are high uh, to go out and be productive and, and have a fun season. Now, um, you're one of the uh, the few teams in, in the area who who have actually uh, are practicing now. You know, some are going to the traditional uh, three weeks or so before the season. Is is there an, you think there's an advantage that way you're out here? Well, or? you know, we're working mostly on conditioning and, and just trying to get in the swing of things. So. It could be an advantage. You know, it's nice to take some time off too. We, we are sensitive to the recovery time. So again, we just want to stay on top of things. We've worked hard. We've already had our dead period. So with that, you know, we just want to get a little jump on things and continue to work at what we're working at. Now this year, um, who are some of the, the two or three uh, players that, that you're kind of expecting some good things from? And just, just go and in the detail about each one of them. Well, on, on offense, George Romo had a fantastic season last year. You know, we expect a lot from him. He was first team all league um, returner. So he had a great season. Um, we expect him to do a lot of things, not only play offense, but play some defense, punt return, kick return. Um, another guy in offense, Marcus Portillo, uh, kind of the same type of player, really uh, athletic guy who can punt return, kick return, play receiver, play some defensive, uh, defensive back for us. Um, Joseph Rabino on our offensive line has had a fantastic offseason, and uh, he made second team all league. He's a, a great player, and we expect him to play offensive line, defensive line, and he's also our long snapper. On defense, Daniel Servin was our MVP last year as a junior. He was first team all league. Um, he made the second uh, honorable mention for the Whittier Daily News team, so we expect a lot from him. Um, he was one of the better players in our league defensively. Uh, Robert Garcia, our linebacker, is a returning first team all league player, so you know we got some guys. Uh, Daniel Galvez is another guy who just, you know, we expect a lot from him and we expect a lot of our guys just to get out and play good and, and do good things. Um, we have a defensive end, Isaac Shomeno, who made second team all league and another uh, defensive end and our punter, Juan Hernandez, who made second team all league. So with all these guys, we expect a lot from them. Now talk a little bit more about, about what serving kind of means to your team, not just on the field, but it's, it seems like like him being a senior, you, you expect a, a lot from him as, as a leader. Oh, we do, we do, and, and he, he lives by example. You know, he goes out, he works hard, he, he works hard in the weight room, he works hard at practice, he's just a, a quiet guy who goes out and plays. Mm -hmm. And he, he makes everybody better because he plays so hard and so fast all the time, you can't take it down off. If you take it down off, he goes right by you and he makes you look bad. So he's just one of those guys He's gonna force you to, to play hard all the time. He's a great young man with a great attitude and you know, great, um, just a great kid all the way around. Is he, is he one of those players, and, and you have them on, on defense, a lot of teams have him on defense, where the offense has to account for him and, and just remember if they block someone, he's, he's the guy. Absolutely. I mean, you you look at him uh, stature-wise, you wouldn't think that. He's 5'9", about 205 pounds. He just looks like your slow, uh, small kind of defensive lineman guy, but he's that guy who's so quick off the ball, has great instincts for the ball, great knack to get to the ball. You just turn around and he's by you all of a sudden. So he's, he's that guy that forces you never to take a playoff. And we stress that a lot. You can't take a playoff, can't take a down off. So he's that guy that gets us going. Now, is, what are your thoughts on, on, on the league this year? I mean, this league traditionally is, is pretty balanced uh, from, from top to bottom. You, you kind of expect that? I still think it's pretty balanced. I, I think a lot of teams have a lot coming back in different, different areas. So I think it should be very competitive. I, I think all the teams in the league know each other now. Um, and, I, and I think it's just from you know, a coaching st standpoint. So I think it'll be a, a good season for everybody. Okay, thanks a lot, Coach.